Do you want to learn how you can leverage AI to book more appointments from your existing leads, save time, and make more money? I'm going to show you how to do exactly that in this video. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you the fastest, easiest way to get this up and running in your business so you can start reaping the benefits even faster. Hi, I'm Allie Bloyd, and I am known as a go high level expert and digital marketing extraordinaire for local businesses and agencies. Today, we are going to be covering an amazing new feature in high level CRM, which is my favorite all in one marketing and sales platform. If used properly, this feature is going to be a game changer for local businesses and the marketers who serve them. Let's dive in. First, what exactly are we talking about? This is the conversational AI feature that was recently released in high level. We're going to go into what it is, how to set it up, how to test it, and the best practices for using this in your business. The first thing that we need to do is turn the feature on in the agency account settings. If you are on a white label version of this program and you do not see this feature inside of your account, it's because that agency administrator has not turned it on. Your options would be to either reach out to them and ask if they will turn it on. And if not, you could switch over to your own high level account. I'm going to have a link for you at the end of this video that it's going to allow you to get up and running on your own brand new account quickly and easily with everything you need to start booking appointments. So we are going to navigate to the company tab. This is under the agency account settings, and we are going to scroll down to this conversational AI tab, and we're going to make sure that that's turned on. Once it's turned on, we're then going to hop into the sub account that we would like to use this feature on. So now I'm going to go to my settings in the bottom left, and we're going to navigate to conversational AI. So there are several different areas of the conversational AI that we're going to go over. The first is the bot settings. So as of now, we have three options. We can turn it off. We can use suggestive, which will just prompt the person who's communicating with leads with these different responses. And then we have autopilot. Autopilot is going to send messages automatically. As you can see, this feature is still in beta. So they've already told me about several new additions and changes that are going to be rolling out very soon. As soon as those come out, I'll make sure to do a video on those as well. But for now in the beta version, these are our options. We also have supported channels. These are the channels that are currently supported text message, Instagram, Google, my business, and Facebook message. You simply decide which of those channels you want to turn on, whether it's one of them or all of them is up to you. And then we're going to give it a name. So this is going to be the business name. And that is simply if your business name is different from your location name, which is the name of the sub account. We have autopilot mode, which is going to say, wait 20 seconds before responding. And then we also have a maximum number of messages that the bot can send. So this is up to you, but 10 is set as a default because ideally we wouldn't want the bot to do all of the communication necessarily. We do want a real person to be able to hop in there if somebody is asking lots of questions because it means that they have some genuine interest and it could be good for you or your team to pick it up from there. However, you can change this. So maybe you want it to be 50 messages. That's up to you. After we go through this training and this tutorial, you're going to have a much better idea of what might be the best fit for you. Now we have bot trial, which we'll talk about in a minute, bot training, which we'll also discuss, but we're going to go over to the configure events option. So support general question and answer. We've got that enabled by default. Now we get to decide, do we want this to actually book appointments for this business? If so, we're going to turn on the toggle to enabled and we're going to pick the calendar that people would be booking on. So if you have a variety of calendars that someone should be booking on for that first step, then this is going to be difficult for you. I would suggest overall simplifying that and having one first step calendar for everyone who is a new potential client or a customer. This is going to really simplify that process. 
This is going to actually conversationally book these appointments, but we do have the option to allow them to not do that and to just send that booking link. And so if you don't want it to conversationally schedule appointments, you are going to turn this tab on. Now we have a conversation flow. This conversation flow is really any of those pre-qualification type of questions that you may be asking somebody before booking them in. So we have on our page a pre-qualification survey. It's going to ask certain questions to ensure that somebody is a good fit for the call. We don't want to waste their time. We don't want to waste our time. So these are the questions that are important to us. So right now, this is not something where we can necessarily use conditional logic. That feature is coming very, very soon. But these are the questions that we would simply want to know before actually booking someone. So I have had some issues with this conversation flow actually being executed properly. We'll take a look at what that looks like right now, but just be aware this is still in beta. So there are some things that you are going to notice that are hiccups. So my best recommendation is to really train it as well as possible before you implement it. And once you do implement it, maybe start it on weekends at a time when other people are not going to be able to answer. So you'd rather have some of those conversations happening than nothing at all. Or you could say, all right, we're going to turn it on for this day and we're going to have a real person monitoring those. So in real time, if it's giving the wrong information or if the conversation is not going as intended, they can immediately correct that. So these are the questions that you're going to add. You'll simply click add and type in the question and then hit save. So once your bot settings and your configure intents has been set up, we're going to move over into the training. So one of the coolest things about this is that it actually allows you to train the bot based on URLs. So if you have website pages or funnel pages that have the information about your business that you would want the bot to know, we're going to add those URLs. So this is my pre-qualification survey page. You simply put in the URL, you hit get data. It's going to be adding or processing for a moment. And then when you see the URL here with that check mark that says trained, you know that it has actually worked. So I have this trained on all of my core products. However, what I realized were some of my main pages that were the most informational, they're actually a page with a video. There's not a lot of text. It's just a video that's very detailed. AI does not pick up the information from the videos. So please be aware of that. What I did was I took the details from those video scripts. I threw it on a page and then I trained the bot on those pages. So now all of the content from my videos, it is trained in the bot. So that is definitely a pro tip. If you've got a lot of video content, take the transcript of that video or take the actual script that you use, throw it on a page. It doesn't have to look nice. It really is just the content and you hit save and then you're going to train the bot on this URL. I have several other ideas for ways that I'll be training this bot to be even better in those sales conversations moving forward. So we'll save that for another video. But for now, this is how you're going to get it trained on all of your business information, your product information, your pricing, who your offers are best for. So once we've done that, we also can see this customized bot responses section. If we want to add frequently asked questions, we're going to click on add Q&A. We're going to put in the question and we're going to put in the answer. One thing that I've noticed about this is it might be asking the same question, but a variation of that question. You might need to add multiple variations of the question with the same answer to ensure that it's actually responding correctly. Because as you know, when you're dealing with conversations, you're dealing with real people and these people are going to say things in a variety of ways. One size does not always fit all. So that is a good starting point is just by looking at the questions that you get asked on a regular basis and going ahead and putting those in the Q and A. I have quite a few that are in here, but that's only going to continue to grow. Now we get to the bot 
trial. So I just reset the conversation. So we're starting from scratch. I'm going to show you how to test your bot and how to further train your bot. So I'm going to say, hi, I'm looking to book an appointment. The AI bot in the training should go faster than what it will do when you're actually letting it have a conversation. Because again, in the bot settings, we've set that to 20 second response time. So it says, that's great. Before we proceed, can you let me know your time zone? Our appointments are set to Eastern time by default. So I want to make sure I share the correct availability with you. Okay. Um, I'm in Pacific. So this was a question I had to add in, in that conversational flow because I get leads from all over the world. If the time zone is incorrect, that's going to get them booked at a time that doesn't actually work for them. Then my team's going to be there ready to take that call. That person's not going to show up. It's not good for anybody. So do make sure if you're dealing with people in different time zones, this is one of the very first questions that you ask. Okay. So it says, thanks for letting me know in your Pacific time zone. I'd like to ask, are you actively looking to invest in your business growth? This will help me understand how we can tailor our services to your needs and budgets. Yes, I am. That's fantastic. It shows you're committed to taking your business to the level. Next level, now can I ask what your revenue goal is? Um, we'll say 100,000 a month. Okay, thanks for sharing your revenue goal. So I might even hit the thumbs down on this one and give it a tweak in terms of how it is being communicated because I feel like this is a little bot-like. Thanks for sharing your revenue goal of 100,000 per month. So we might just wanna say, thanks for sharing that. Um, if I wanted to customize that, I'm gonna hit the thumbs down and I'm going to delete this piece. Thanks for sharing your revenue goal, that's an ambitious target, and I'm confident we can help you achieve it. Okay, now I hit train bot. This will automatically add this question to my Q&A section in the bot training. Every time you thumbs down and you correct it, it's gonna save it. Every time you thumbs up that, it's going to add that in. So we'll say, what kind of help are you looking for? I need help setting up my systems. Thanks for sharing that you need help setting up your system. So again, these are some of the, the finer tweaks that I would make is just not necessarily reiterating every single thing that they say. So it says, I'm glad to assist you with that. Here are some available appointment slots for you to choose from. Okay, please let me know which works best. So I'm gonna say, are these in Pacific time? So it should be presenting these in Pacific time, based on that first question and them responding with their time zone. But as you can see, apologies for the oversight, here are the available appointment slots for your time zone. So this is a challenge that you may have if you are working with people in different time zones. So I had that very first question about the time zone. They said they're in Pacific. The bot knows that they're in Pacific time, yet when it presented my appointment slots, it wasn't presenting them in Pacific time. At least it doesn't appear that way. So I'm gonna look at these slots and see if they're the same. So October 12th, 8 a.m., October 12th, 8 a.m. Pacific time, October 13th, 9 a.m., October 13th. So these actually were in Pacific time. So this should have been, yes, I've provided the times in your in the time zone you shared. So now we're just training the bot that if somebody asks about that, that we're now reiterating, yes, they're in the time zones that you shared. So there are definitely things that you are going to have to test and train and work on with this bot, but the result is gonna be incredible. What you will also notice is that before sharing these times, it did not necessarily ask all of the questions. So what type of business do you have? And are you the primary decision maker? These two questions were not asked. So that is something that I have to continue
to train the bot on. And it's just going to be an ongoing learning process. However, this is beta, like I mentioned. It's only going to get better and better and better. The features that I have been looped in on that are coming very soon are gonna make this even more incredible. So I'm really, really excited for that. But this is how you get your AI conversational bot set up and trained for Go High Level. If you have a more simplistic business model, this is gonna work very well for you right out of the box. With a little bit of training, you should be good to go. My business has some more complex pre-qualification questions, a lot of different offers that are gonna be tailored based on people's specific situations. But at the end of the day, if somebody's interested, we wanna get them on a call if they fit certain criteria. So for me, having those questions asked before it shares those times is really important. That's something we're gonna to continue to work on. But if you are willing to send that link over to anybody, if they're interested, this is gonna work very well right away. Or if you just want somebody to be able to book that initial 10 to 15 minute intro call so you can gather the rest of those questions, then you should be good right away. So again, this is a work in progress, but this is an amazing new feature that I know is going to change the game for so many people. Ultimately, you're gonna need traffic. You're gonna need leads coming into the system in order to have these conversations. So if you need a way to generate more leads, more conversations in your business, I would absolutely love to help you. There's gonna be a link in the description where you can go to that pre-qualification survey and see if it's a good fit to take the next step and hop on that call. Otherwise, if you're already using Go High Level, but you really don't understand how to best set it up or use it, I'd encourage you to check out my Ultimate High Level Masterclass. The link will also be in the description as well. And as I mentioned, if you're thinking about getting started, or if you are on a white label account and you want to switch to your own account, I've also added a link in the description that is going to give you the core appointment snapshot. The core appointment snapshot is going to allow you to have all of your booking calendars, all of your funnels, all of your workflows, your appointment reminders, your no show nurtures, your pipeline setup, everything that you need to actually start booking appointments and managing those appointments effectively. So I'm really excited for you guys to test out this feature. Let me know in the comments, are you planning on using it right away? Or what are your concerns about implementing this into your business? Hope to hear from you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss anything new. Bye-bye.